Welcome to Messy World. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified of all the good and juicy videos I will post. Let's get into it. So you probably have seen by now the video that has gone viral of Beyonce at the Warriors game on Wednesday with Jay-Z and you see a Becky lean over Beyonce speaking, trying to talk to Jay-Z. Alright, so this video has gone viral and the Beyonce Beehive has responded as they normally do. They went and attacked the Becky. Well, if you do not know, who is the Becky? Well, the Becky is the wife of Warriors owner Jacob Lacombe. And her name is Nicole Coran. Yes. And many Beyonce fans went onto her Instagram and flooded her comment section. Okay. And many people left memes and comments on Twitter about the viral video. Now ESPN was responsible for posting the video. And since they posted the video, a reporter by the name of Ramona Sherborne took to her Twitter account to defend Nicole Coran. So she wrote on her Twitter, she said, just spoke to Nicole Coran, the wife of Warriors owner, Joe Lacob, about the incident with Beyonce last night. She was in tears, said she had beginning death threats on social media all night. This morning, she disabled her IG account just to make it stop. Now, she also goes into further details about what was actually going on surrounding the incident, which a lot of Beehive members were not aware of. Ramona Shelbourne further writes on her Twitter that Karan says Jay-Z asked for a vodka soda. She asked if he wanted lime with that, but it was loud and oracle and she couldn't hear. So she leaned over. That's where the photos of Beyonce looking askance at her come from. <laughs> so I saw that a lot of Twitter users did not know what askance meant. So just in case you've never heard that word, askance means with an attitude or look of suspicion or disapproval. So that is where Beyonce started to look like she had an attitude. So Ramona Shelburne further writes that Coran says she had no idea anything was even amiss until she got home and started seeing texts from friends and checked her social media. She's invited Jay-Z and Beyonce to the game three to four times before. Last night she said she asked if they wanted drink. Beyonce asked for water. Okay. Coran also said that she went to go get them those drinks. There was no hostility. She says, I was trying to be a good hostess. I've never experienced cyberbullying like this. I can't believe our players go through this, that kids go through this. Okay, so everybody jumped to the conclusion that of the reason why Beyonce was looking the way that she looked. And it is a mystery as, you know, why Beyonce would be looking like that when the wife of the owner was simply trying to be a hostess and to show good hospitality to them by going to get them the drinks and that is where you see the picture where someone posted of Nicole Coran actually no longer being there it's because she went and got the drinks for them okay so you see she's actually gone so she went and got the drinks so since the video went viral and many people started to attack Nicole and she received death threats she has deleted her IG and now a lot of Beyonce fans are calling out Beyonce calling her out to respond and tell her fans to back down okay so Beyonce has not made a statement about it okay she posted this pictures on her Instagram so clearly she is aware you know what's going on that her video has gone viral and she's aware that Nicole Coran is receiving death threats well of course Beyonce is not going to respond so she had her publicist respond to the incident so Beyonce's publicist whose name is Yvette Noel sure posted this on her Instagram and responded by saying, I am looking back today at the start of the OTR2 tour one year ago. It was a place of joy, unimaginable entertainment from two of the best performers in the world and a place of love. Every single day on that tour, I saw love, which is why I also want to speak here to the beautiful beehive. I know your love runs deep, but that love has to be given to every human. It will bring no joy to the person you love so much if you spew hate in her name. We love you. Okay, so that was a very good way to basically tell the beehive to back down. And that is the reason why she is Beyonce's publicist. But a lot of Beyonce fans are questioning 
explaining why Beyonce responded the way she did because Nicole Coran was simply trying to be a good hostess to Jay-Z and Beyonce. Could it be that Beyonce is still having jealousy and still having doubts of her husband's fidelity? Well, you let us know what you think about all of this and are you on the side of the beehive or are you on the side of those criticizing the beehive and telling Beyonce to tell her hive to back down? Leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more messy entertainment.